Well, Crane, known for its ground and pound attack recently, and this year, a new leader at the helm, the Golden Cranes, looking to spread their wings a little bit. In recent years, the Golden Cranes have stood out with their physicality and strong defense. We let our mind control our body, you know, because if we're out here and like we act like we're tired and this and that, we're not, we're not going to get anything done. This season, new head coach Jeff Cordell will introduce Crane to a spread offense. Early signs are positive as well. Before Cordell really had any chance to implement the new system, the Cranes advanced to the Division III state championship at the 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament earlier this summer. I don't think they had any clue. Nobody really had any clue. You know, had you been in the spread offense for years and years and years and these kids grew up in that system, it would probably been a little bit different story. We're just working on installing the plays and getting to know everything. We got some athletes on that side of the ball, so we're, it's going to be exciting. Crane returns less than half of its roster from last season, although it does include some key contributors. Running back Brandon Cerna is certainly one of them, rushing for nearly 1,800 yards with 20 total touchdowns as a junior. Probably the most exciting thing is that we have some guys that as athletic, if, if not more athletic, to surround himself with. So he don't have to feel like he has to carry the burden uh, offensively or defensively for us th this year. You do not want to get in his way. Here's a look at the schedule for Crane. You see they start off three straight home games right off the bat, including Ira Ann and McCamey. And then as uh, it goes to the end of the non-district, they're at Stanton and then, or at Kermit and then at Stanton. Second half of the season, district slate, home against Reagan County, at Anthony before wrapping up against Alpine.